While the 40-year-old drug that's in plentiful supply could help the most severe COVID-19 patients. Now there's an effort underway to rush trials of the drug, which is usually given to organ transplant patients. CBS 2's Jeff Vaughn has the story. In the battle for survival against COVID-19, it's a question Dr. Human Norchash can't stop thinking about. Why is it that we're not considering cycle support? Dr. Norchash is a cell immunologist who trained at Harvard as a thoracic surgeon. He's cared for heart and lung transplant patients. Most transplant surgeons are quite familiar with what this drug is. He believes cyclosporin, the same drug that fights rejection in transplant patients, could stop life-threatening lung damage from COVID-19. The kill mechanism for this virus seems to be actually an out-of-control immune response. That response is known as a cytokine storm. To attack the virus, the body produces a storm of inflammatory chemicals. Instead of stopping once the immune system kills the virus, the inflammation keeps building. When the lungs are involved, patients can lose the ability to breathe. By the time patients end on the ventilator, it's, you know, they already have a very high mortality risk. I think the Achilles heel of this problem is going to be turning off the kill mechanism, and that seems to be a cytokine storm syndrome. Dr. Norchasm believes cyclosporin may provide the quickest way to do this for the greatest number of COVID-19 patients. For one, there's no shortage, and... It's available vastly internationally. It's quite inexpensive. There's a lot of safety data on it. I think you can envision a scenario where cyclosporin is actually used to block COVID-19's uh, kill mechanism by really dampening the hyperimmune response that leads these patients to get into the ICU and into critical illness. Jeff Vaughn, KCAL 9 News. Dr. Norchas expects that cyclosporin would be prescribed for seven to 10 days in patients who have moderate COVID-19 symptoms. He's working to get clinical trials started within the next few weeks.